In this video, we're going to be comparing rates to find out which is greater or which is less. So in this problem that we have, it says that Meg worked four hours and earned $31. Gabby worked five hours and earned $37.50. Who earned more per hour? Telling you what unit rate they're wanting you to get it down to in order to compare the amount that these girls earned. So more per hour or money per hour. So I have money per hour. This is going to be Meg. And then for Gabby, we also want to find money per hour. So Meg earned $31 in four hours. Gabby earned $37.50 in five hours. Make sure that your rates are set up the same way. So now we're going to simplify those down to the unit rate per hour or per one hour. We can do that by dividing. 31 divided by 4. 31 divided by 4. 4 fits into 31 seven times. 7 times 4 is 28. We subtract. Get 3. Throw in a decimal because we're working with money. 4 goes into 37 times. 7 times 4 is 28 again. Subtract and we get 2. Bring down your other invisible zero. 4 goes into 20 5 times. 5 times 4 is 20. And we're done. So Meg earned $7.75 and 75 cents per hour. Let's see how much Gabby earned per hour. So we're going to take 37.5 divided by 5. 37.5 divided by 5. Bring your decimal point up. 5 goes into 37 7 times. 7 times 5 is 35. Subtract. We get 2, bring down the 5, 5 goes into 25 5 times, 5 times 5 is 25, subtract and I get 0. I'm dealing with money, and money always has two numbers behind the decimal. So it's not $7.05, it's actually $7.50. We use a placeholder 0, always when we have money, 2 digits behind the decimal per hour. So now we can say who earned more per hour because both of these girls' amounts are being now compared to one hour instead of four or five. So clearly Meg earned more per hour. She worked less and only earned, I guess it pays off to work a little longer. It's only 25 cent difference. They'll be okay. But Meg earned more per hour.